deal um drum shed club okay cool this new club is opening up right called drum shed i think him i mentioned it previously because i think um i don't know who's doing a festival here right so this is something i've just seen now on mix mag um kind of confirming the news but let's get up on here oh, duh, 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 duh. <laughs> hope you guys can see this duh, duh, duh. Mm -hmm. So um, this is an article on from Mixmag magazine. Uh, pioneering new event space. The drum shed is opening in London this summer, right? Um, a new venue called the drum shed is, is located, is scheduled to open um, in North London in June. The drum shed is located in the Meridian Water, the center of a major 20 year, 6 billion regeneration project from the Enfield Council. Wow. And we'll open the stores. Enfield's are far away though, isn't it, right? Open the stores, well, for me in East London. Open stores for the first time in, um, for field day across. Yeah, I remember that's why it's, it's going to, that's what field day are going to do their thing. They're going to have it in this site that has always where houses that are interconnected and they're gonna it's gonna be quite interesting to have field day on a warehouse space location in different warehouse units is as opposed to what it's normally like in a big park with different stages and shit let's see how that goes um field day first teased the venue back in november when announcing its site relocation 2019 edition it's now been revealed to be a new venue uh from Baldwick venues the company that owns and runs london's print works and, and exhibition venues okay awesome the site features a 10,000 capacity indoor space yo man there has to be a bubble the bubble's gonna have to burst with these festivals isn't it Field Day is going to have a 10,000 capacity indoor space to do a festival for. Jesus Christ. It's going to be a lot, isn't it? It's probably too many, no? Don't you think there's too many? I think there's too many warehouse spaces. or No, there's too many festivals happening. Especially the day ones. Um, I know Jazz, aren't Jazz Cafe doing a festival, for fuck's sake. This, like, this, uh, the Jazz Peterson Festival is probably not sold as well, I think, as it should have. Um... I'm, I still seen them pushing them on social. It's still on kind of the first release. He probably, I probably think he probably thought he had a bigger pull than he maybe thought he has. Um, yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen, man. It's the bubble's gonna have to burst one way or the other. Really. I don't think I don't know how they can sustain this. Again, for me, I don't mind because I'm a nightlife dude. I like going out and stuff. So having more spaces that I can go to and, and rock out and chill is good. But for the people that are organizing these festivals, it's like Jesus, man. How are you gonna justify spending this kind of money to put these things on? Anyway, especially besides. The Tottenham marshes away from residential areas was also allowed to achieve a rarely seen combination of London loud sound levels and late night license. Okay, perfect. Um, similar to Fold, right, in that regard. The size of the warehouse structure will also allow... This is maybe tied in... Yeah, this is maybe a good idea in terms of the way I mentioned previously with Fold. I thought Fold was a good idea. It still is a great idea because it's a nightclub that is open until 6. Sometimes it has a 24-hour license, so you can open, you know, um, from Friday all the way until sun, all, all the way until uh, Saturday afternoon, Saturday morning. Um, that's amazing. But the best thing about it is because it's in Canning Town, it's in the kind of industrial kind of warehouse spaces where, I mean, area where all the kind of post office places are for the most part, the steel manufacturing areas are. Um, it's away from all the residential areas, so you can put the sound up really high, but also the late licensing. I remember saying at the time when it opened, it would be great if we could replicate that same model in the north, in the south, and in the west. Just pick an area and have a mega club sit there, right? So then essentially what you could do is that then you could go back to having the smaller clubs kind of start promoting resident, resident DJs and maybe the DJs that are on the B, C tier or D tier level and kind of get them up. Because I think the problem that we have, especially with some of the bigger DJs, and again, I'm speaking from somebody that's just like a, a pub bar DJ. I think if you're like a B, C, D tier level DJ, it probably is a bit annoying and hard for you to get set because for the most part, you're mostly warming up for the bigger dudes to come on later, right? You're not necessarily playing the main sets, but because most of these guys are playing the same clubs you're playing because there's only so many mega clubs in the in the London, in London, not that many for the most part anyway, that can kind of justify booking a Ricardo Velo boss and paying him the fee and having enough people in there to kind of make their money back or break even it doesn't really exist which is why most party promoters like crank brothers are kind of doing their kind of you know rechectured experiences and kind of you know spreading out a little bit more getting into bigger spaces using unconventional spaces to kind of make those things work but nightclubs aren't really working that well so i feel a good way to make nightclubs work is to kind of get these mega clubs in the east north west and south and then what you do with the corsica studios and with the um, X or Y or those kind of places and the phonicas is that then you'd get the opportunity to have these local DJs play a bit more often in these places regularly because then it wouldn't matter right because if you want to go out and see the biggest DJ in the world you could still go to a fabric you still go to a fold you don't necessarily need to go to X or Y and expect to see I don't know Gerd Janssen playing there every weekend right it could be somebody else local who's as good um, who's kind of hasn't got their name out there first 
So that may be work in that regard. But I'm not sure about the festival thing again. But hey, what do I know? So as the warehouse structure will also allow the fitting of impressive production levels inspired by mega European events. Cool. Jumpshed will be served transport wise by a new network rail overground. Awesome. Called Meridian Water. That's also that's really good. Oh, there'll be an overground there, which opens in May, five minutes from the site, and will have a direct link to Stratford and Liverpool Street. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. I'm sold. Sorry, I was um being um sorry I was being cynical there. I'm sold. If I can get oh, okay, I'm sold. I'm sold. Because already with fold right, the Jubilee line from Stratford takes you all the way to Kensington Station, and you have to walk ten minutes to get to, to get to the place. On the way there, there's a couple of lessons. You can have a quick drink, and boom, you're in the place. With this, you can get basically a train from bloody Stratford Overground and get straight away there, or maybe even oh, that's amazing. That's so cool. Anyway, Broadwick Venues Managing Director Bradley Thompson said the Drumshed is Broadwick Venues' most ambitious project to date and a huge boost for the capital. Multiple warehouse spaces, the largest of which has 10,000 capacity space. Okay, that's the largest one, along with a 10 acre outdoor festival. Okay, so feel there won't be only in the where it won't only be in these mega metal units, it will be some bits outside too, which is good. I want to see how they I want to see how they fit it out, interestingly enough, because I remember seeing the plans for. Uh, is it the Flughagen? What's that airport in Berlin that they were gonna um, redo? There was an airport right next next to Neukölln. I've got the name of it. But I remember seeing the plans of it, thinking oh, that's really cool. That's a cool way to kind of use an airport, right? Kind of be a bit more like interesting, not just have like port cabin set up. So I'm interested to see how they kind of um, um, fit it out in general going forward, especially for field day. But hopefully it's not just like loads of banners with kind of sponsors on it. It's actually, you know, some interesting fixtures and fittings. We're confident people that people will be will be blown away by this as we are. Awesome. Night like oh, London's nights are Amy Lammy pops up, eh? There she is. Ugh. Oh, I'm delighted that the drum set is. I'm delighted that drum set like the venues are open up in the capital and proud that it shares Enfield's commitment to delivering the mail. Twenty four hour vision of London. London's the most diverse nightlife culture. This thing she just repeats again and again. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Don't care about that. But yeah, that's opening up soon. Again, pictures of the warehouse space there. Looks amazing. I think London's hotting up, man. We're getting some actually cool, interesting places once and for all. I'm down for this like a motherfucker. Can't wait to see what else we get from it. But yeah, um, drum shed there by um, Bordwick Venues, the Hussar Managed Print Works. It'd be cool to see what how it develops in the future going forward. But yeah, that was very interesting, isn't it? Um,